M0FXB, welcome to my channel RS918. Let's calibrate the screen after installing new, a new boot loader and firmware. So we'll keep our stylus on the screen and we'll turn it on and we'll keep the stylus on till we get a message. Like so, keep it on. Press band and band to start calibration. So press both of these buttons here. And then on the next screen, you'll start to get crosses touch anything to start and then we just keep tapping the crosses until it gives us another cross we'll get there in the end then this one and you know this is the nizar firmware has the bootloader which is five point something and i think the firmware is 2.9 Anyway, it's November 2020, it's December 2023. Thanks to Nazar and thanks to John as well, N5ID, for uh, helping me with this. So the problem is that when you load that kind of firmware, you do have to recalibrate the whole radio from scratch, which is doable, but it takes time. And the first thing I want to do is, is get my touch screen working. But it did, the radio did look very nice when it booted, and you'll see that in a minute. Press band to run a drawing screen, okay? You can draw, I did this earlier, I'm not really sure why it does that. But yeah, is there a reason? Is it getting points? Is it making it better? The sensitivity, if I go around the edge? I literally don't know. Anyway, we've done that, it was working. I did test it just now. Right, there you are. One drawing scheme. Very nice. Uh, and then it says, uh, press power to boot. Okay, now we're back to boot. And I'll quickly run through what I'm seeing. We haven't calibrated anything else. Yeah, we've got an antenna connected. There's 20 meters. I know the touch screen's working because I've already tested it. You can see. We can hold down the up band. We get a different scope. It's very nice. That LED, that green LED is shining all over the place, isn't it? Let's see if I can... Uh, no, it's not going to let me change anything. So anyway, just quickly go through it. So we've got menu. Let's go down to... I'll show you the firmware. System info. Then we'll just turn this button to show. Then you turn and you start to see everything. So, keep going. 2.940, is it 40 or 48? 40 firmware. Bootloader 5.0.5. Before it was 3.4.2, and I think it was 2.2. So, it's definitely got the latest uh, modified firmware by Nizar. And then we can just go back up till we see the word hide, and then you turn. And it shows. So when it hides, when it says hide, you can actually see everything. So exit for now. And we'll just tap around a few things. Got CN tune there. Um, so when you tap the frequency now, look, you get these nice grids. Quite like that. We've got zoom here, DSP, NR, you get these little grids and so on you can still that's the step of course you still got step here and here and here okay what else P mode so you tap there look you get all these nice modes agc and remember i've not configured anything so You've got the normal mode button here. Signal meter. ALK, SWR, audio. What else are we looking at here? These are all grayed at the moment. Oh, they, they are allowing me to change things. Volume. I had this working on 
W S J T X F T A earlier. It literally worked excellent. I also had a contact straight away on 40 meters. First call out, I was only on one watt. Uh, so you've still got your tune facility there if you've got an antenna connected. Sorry, I have got an ATU. It's called an ATU 100. I made a video on that earlier. Split mode, VFO, AB. Why don't we hold our finger here? Oh yeah, you get the usual band from 10 to 160. Pretty good, eh? I mean, these are quite inexpensive devices, really. So I think that's enough for now. Band up and down. VFO. A lot more to learn. I've got a lot to configure on this now. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel, 7.3. All the best.